I'm George McLaughlin, the kit man at the Associates Football Club. You're watching Mariners TV. Really obviously exactly what you wanted from the team there. Yeah, I mean the start we had was uh, you kind of say exactly the plan. You're, you're hoping those sort of things happen, you know. Um, two unbelievable strikes to get us two 0 ahead, and then I think that just settles everybody down, you know. Obviously, you, you go into the game with it. A little bit of nerves and see how it goes, you know. Um, and when you're two 0 up within such a, a short period of time, I think it just settled everyone, and, and the lads went on from there, you know. And the quality of the goals as well were fantastic. Oh, right? yeah. I mean, they, obviously the, the first two strikes, the, the fourth goal was just an unbelievable goal, you know. Mm -hmm. Michael Richards and Switch were playing back and side, working across to Robert and six it in the far top corner. Um, and I, I thought uh, Gavin's last goal as well was superb. Um, mm -hmm. With the way the ball was moving around in the air, and um, the way he controlled his volley was excellent. When, when you're watching the team sort of performing like that and sort of delivering your instructions, it was very it's, satisfying. Well, we talked about this before the game. When when there's so many people in um, and they're making quite a bit of noise, it's difficult to get your, your instructions on. So um, we've got a fantastic bunch of players that whatever we ask them to do, they kind of go out and put it into, into practice on the pitch. You know, so yeah, there wasn't a great deal of. Kind of shouting and bowling from the sidelines, um, pr probably because we knew the lads wouldn't be able to, wouldn't be able to uh, hear us, you know. So um, we're hugely appreciative of all the people who've come in today to support the club. Um, obviously, made it a, a lot easier. Um, I think some of their lads might have frozen a little bit, you know, not not being used to playing in front of so many people. But um, everybody who came today would like to say thank you very much. We mentioned before the game, the last two big crowds we had didn't quite go to plan. There's more with the North Shield, so it must be really satisfying that I did this time. Yeah, well, that's a, maybe it is. The two goals at the start that settled everybody down. Um, obviously, the last two performances, we haven't quite been at our best. Um, but considering the conditions, you know, the pitch was quite lively, the wind was up a little bit. I thought we played some good stuff at times and uh, deserved winners at the end. One step closer to three semi finals, that's a great achievement, isn't that? It's a great achievement so far, but. As you know, nobody nobody remembers semi-finalists, so we've got to push on now, make sure we get into finals, um, <clears throat> and then hopefully pick up a few trophies this year. So um, it's obviously been a couple of well, a decent result in the league for us today with Morpeth. Um, so we'll have to capitalise on that on uh, on Wednesday at Benfield, which is going to be difficult. It'll be a completely different uh, kettle of fish to today's game, but um, we will look forward to the challenge. You mentioned the fans here, over 3,000, it was incredible to see so many people there, wasn't it? It was brilliant, you know, I mean, uh, obviously quite a few of the lads aren't used to playing in front of so many people. Um, and like I say, I think it was it was good for them, um, because the last two performances in front of, I think it was 2,600 the last couple of times, um, we haven't quite performed. So hopefully, the people who've come in today who aren't regulars have uh, kind of had their, their appetites wet a little bit and maybe want to come back a little bit more and support the boys, you know. Just finally mentioned you've got Benfield Wednesday support and to go back to the league now. It is, like I say, it's, it's going to be difficult. Um, they've, they've got some real quality players, you know, um, as we saw in the, in the game recently. Um, obviously the pitch is going to be difficult, um, so we'll have to adjust and adapt our game a little bit. But um, I say we're just we're relishing the challenges that are put in front of us at the minute. And obviously that's 19 on the trot, we're not going to make it 20.